Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar started out to a relatively bullish start on Thursday. However, the market has backed away quite sharply from the 75.45 intraday high, along with that with the ADX also overheating and the RSI coming away from the overbought zone indicates that we could see a weaker play into the European session. Still, at present, we need a little bit more confirmation. Now, a close under 75.05, which is where we are now, that is from New York also, would give us further indication to a further slide and would put in projection a potential target of around 74.40 and reassess from there. We are overbought. At the moment, the top side, I am neutral, but looking at a more of a bearer case due to the overbought condition and an overheating ADX does put the Aussie in a bit of a vulnerable position from the bull side. Looking at the euro, well, the market is now looking again at this level of 116.65. It rejected it recently and now it's also showing a little bit of rejection now as the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, consolidates around the 93.50.60 area. So little change there. Nevertheless, I do feel that the differential from the potential interest rate talk of hikes in the US, but not in Euro, would put a little bit of a, a view also on the market. Still, I'm holding to a pretty much a bare holding, as long as we don't clear and close above that 116.65 area. We look for a pullback towards that bottom side of the range, around one, the low 116 and eventually lower. The dollar yen is holding to a bearish um, tri star. That means three dojis in a row has now put a bit of a play into the bear case. As we can see, the market is tumbling slightly into the or the head of the European session. Keeping an eye on this indicator of the RSI, it's pressuring that midway point. Now, a close under 113.85 is, is the trigger point to support the bear case and look down towards the low region of 112 as a confirmation and a measured move. Sterling still holding to a somewhat bullish or stronger case due to the hawkish uh, comments from Bank of England on Sunday from Andrew Bailey, the governor of the Bank of England, and therefore has put a little bit of a sort of a risk to further test to the upside. However, getting closer towards this high 138, could see a bit of profit taking and therefore ease, some of these indicate easing the RSI out of the no vault zone. If we do see a stronger yen case, that would put further risk towards the CAD yen, as we have now started to fall away quite sharply from the overbought zone on the RSI. And the overheated ADX does need to actually see some kind of change here in the pattern. If so, and we do get a close under 113.85 on dollar yen, that would give us further weakness for CAD yen. That would indicate a move back towards 91 and reassess. The market is attempting to recover after that surge on Friday to the top side of the range around 1,786. I do feel that the balls will be a little bit cautious as we head in towards this top side as supply is still heavily around here, I believe, and therefore could see a drop back towards that level of 1,748. Oil once again pushes further to that top side, still leaving me neutral. I'm waiting for a potential pullback and get out of this overbought zone. And also with bearish divergence, does leave a little bit to the vulnerable side to the potential pullback. Let's see if that emerges into tonight. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out the intraday report. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.